my opposition to Zanyuf is on fundamental principle. They can write a million fake stories for all I care, they will never break my spirit and commitment to the struggle for a free and prosperous Zimbabwe where all citizens are equal in law and in practice. The state agents deployed among us are on the roll with endless fake and ludicrous articles quoting me supposedly saying very foolish things. I am not foolish. Never will be. My opposition to Zainup is on fundamental principle. Our unity in the opposition is for me not negotiable. The imperative of convergence and unity in the southern provinces which inform the strategic options we have for 2023 are the electoral statistics for the parliamentary elections. They never lie nor do they yield to slogans and emotions. We can only ignore them at our peril. In Bulawayo, in 2000, we mastered 84% of the vote. Zainab 13%. Others 3%. By 2018 our percentage share had plummeted to 45%. Zainup had almost doubled its share to 25% and others, who included Coop's MDCT, stood at 30%. Thus, the majority of voters in Bulawayo voted against us in 2018. In Matt South, in 2000, we mastered 60% of the vote which gave us 6 of the then 8 seats. Zainup 36% and 2 seats. Others 4%. By 2018 our share had dropped to 30% worth 1 seat. Zainup had gone up to 48% worth 12 seats others stood at 22%. In Matt North in 2000 we got 74% of the vote and all the then 7 seats. Zainab 21%. Others 5%. By 2018 our percentage share had nosedived to 38%. Zainab up to 39%. Others 23%. This is the harsh reality that must inform our strategic options for 2023. I rest my case.